and welcome along and how are we all doing on this fine Saturday evening? I hope everybody's having a good start to the weekend. Uh, I've been working, I've been working on my studio again today, which has been good, which has been very good. Hello and welcome along Sloth Farms, Eugene Creel, Slow Farmer 20, welcome along, Netsan 19, welcome along, uh, Rick 464, welcome along, Phoenix 3081, welcome along to you as well. I uh, I hope you are, uh, yeah, as I said, I hope you all have a good start to the weekend. Uh, that's our 19. Thank you for the host. You are awesome. Uh, Farming Girl 27, welcome along. Daniel Kinsberg, welcome along. Uh, yeah, I hope you are both doing well as well. Shall we jump into this? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit tough on the voice today. I've, had, I've been running around like mad today and getting things a little bit mixed up so uh yeah hey w keen welcome along you're having your furniture and that's cool uh nimrod 1001 welcome along let's uh let's jump into this shall we all right and then i can stop looking at my face and throwing myself off and just being good at doing this uh it is 8 a.m <laughs> on bessie beneath uh, late autumn though, so it's really dark. I think the sun is up though. Because we can only go from sunrise to sunset. Well, we'll probably go beyond. Yeah, the sun is just peeking above those trees. Uh, the ground is too wet though, so we've got to do other stuff first. Uh, as always though. Oof. Uh, I think we need to do some work with cows. I think the cows need feeding and water. So uh, we'll get them going. Uh, it's going to be a lot of harvest today, though. We've got to go and get a baler as well. So we've got uh, a lot of baling to do, a lot of harvesting to do. And I am very much looking forward to getting back to a two PC setup. It's really interesting. I think... I think a lot of my FPS issues that I've been having in various places are related to the Maze Plus mod. Gorgeous mod as it is, I think my machine does not like it. Uh, it's going well, thank you, Jonathan. And yeah, my brother has been very, very busy, which is why he's not been streaming for a while. Hello, BFG Drifter. Welcome along. So let's clear this up first. Oh yeah, the other thing we need to do is we need to get the... Um, we got some slurry to finish doing today as well. It is a very, very busy day. We have got way too much to do on this farm. If we want to get the winter... If we want to get any winter crops in, we are going to have to move it. Evening, Farmer Stew. Welcome along. I think we got... Have we got some winter crops in? I think we might have some winter crops in. Let's see, where are we? Field, oh wow, field 23 needs lime and is ploughed. Okay, so we ploughed 23 last time. We need to get lime into that. Uh, field 6 is harvested, but we need to bale it. Field 4 is uh, is in need of finishing off the slurry on it. So we've got all that to do. Yeah, very, very busy day. Hey, Farmer Stu. I think I've said hello, haven't I? Maybe. Can't remember. Welcome along, anyway. Right. Basically, everything. We also need to start. We've got... Probably next game day, we're going to do the compacting of the silage. Whoops. Did I get painted? Yes. So the undercoat, uh, the undercoat is all finished uh, in the studio. I have uh, selected the paint. Uh, I am going for a cornflower white uh, on the walls in there, um, which is going to be very cool. It's uh, it's a uh, uh, sort of a, a bluey grey, which is pretty cool. Uh, and so that's going to be on the walls. And uh, and then I've got to spray my desk. I ordered, oh, I'd stroke of luck today. So I'd been picking out a new monitor stand. 
Um, because I'm going to... So I previously was on four monitors. I'm going down to three uh, with my new setup. Um, but it's going to be three wide screens. Uh, and, uh, uh, and yeah. So I bought a new monitor stand today. And the reason why I bought it today... I was going to do it as part of a big order on, uh, on Amazon. Um, but it was 15% off on Amazon today. So that was a stroke of luck. Uh, so yeah, saved a bit of money on my monitor stand. Hello, Witters20. Welcome along. MB Farming YT. Welcome along and thank you for the kind words. Lots of people enjoying the uh, survival experiment on YouTube, which is good. I'm glad to see people are enjoying that. That's going to three videos next week. So we're back to a seven, uh, ooh, a seven day schedule next week uh, over on YouTube. Uh, with uh, yeah, with the survival experiment coming in. Right. So how are we doing? So animals now. Uh, yeah, we need some fresh maize. We do have some fresh maize for these. We'll go and get that with the other tractor. Oh, sorry, with the telehandler. Uh, we need water. So we're around 324 inch, uh, like 27. Yeah, I would eventually want to put a 27 inch monitor in the middle, but the uh, the upgrades for the studio don't allow for it. I don't have the money to do it at the moment. Um, and considering that uh, come New Year, my next expense is replacing this PC, so replacing the laptop uh, as my gaming machine. Um, with, uh, I want to do uh, a 3000 series. Uh, graphics card, only the 3080, the 3090 is just ridiculous. Um, yeah, I want to do a 3080 with a, uh, a Ryzen 4000 for my gaming machine to come the new year. Uh, and, uh, and that will allow us to, uh, that will get rid of any FPS issues we have for the next three to four farming simulator games. Um, hey, Vimeo Concrete, welcome along. So that should be good. Uh, yeah, that is the aim with that. Close that up. How about that close? Maybe it's because it's empty. Uh, yeah, so my current machine, the one that we built last year, that will be my dedicated streaming machine. It pretty much is my dedicated streaming machine at the moment. Um, with uh, when I start back up, I'm going to be recording off the. So I'm going to be playing off the laptop and recording on the other uh, machine. So basically, going to a true two PC setup for recording and streaming, uh, and uh, and then processing it all and editing it all on the main machine uh, on the um, on the streaming machine as well. And so, yeah, looking to have something that is a purely dedicated gaming piece of kit. I wonder, actually, can we get one of our other tractors working with that while we do this? That might, that might work. Let's open this up. Refill this. And I think we'll go and get the... Uh, what's going to be running on there? Probably the T... I would take the T-Dub, actually. Where is the T-Dub? What is the T-Dub doing at the moment? Oh, the T-Dub is, uh, is, has got the plough on it, hasn't it? Which we're finished with for now. So let's go put this away. So as I say, yeah, everything, uh, the, the whole load of anything I earn off this channel just goes, gets ploughed back into the channel. So anything that will improve what I output, improve my streams, improve all of that kind of stuff, uh, that gets ploughed back into here. 
so that I can I can create something better for you guys out the other side. I mean, right now, if I didn't stream at all, I've got the perfect gaming machine. I'd be perfectly happy with all that. But I want I want something that is uh, is going to create the best streams and the best outputs for you guys to enjoy. You know, that's what I'm always looking to do in here. And there we go. Right, so... Oh, actually, we want to hold this tractor back. And we'll go and use the, the T7 for this job. So we're going to use the baler on this tractor. Hello Willis Farm Life, welcome along. Are we up to 30 viewers at the moment? Right, let's turn all the lights off this because we don't need those on. Grab the T7. What's the okay, we need to fill this with some fuel. It is really all go today. We're going to have to set the combine going on course play in order to get this done, I think. And we need to, we, we kind of need to get the uh, the honey done as well. I would guess our beehive is probably full. Right, refill that. Uh, let's go and have a look at that quickly while that's refueling. I'm good, thank you, W. Keen. New rig sounds plenty of very Yeah, I, I, I haven't bought it yet, Farmer's Year. I priced it up. Um, looking at, actually, with, I priced it up with a 20, uh, sorry, a 2080. So, I'm actually going to save money on the video card. Uh, oh yeah, wow, we need to, we need to get those out. So let's get this going. Let's finish off the cows and then we can sort the honey. Uh, we'll, we'll bring over all of our empty ones so that we can get the honey we don't need to process the honey today we just need to get uh get it get it all switched out and then we can start processing the honey because we make money off the honey we do make a lot of money off the honey it's why i'm looking on the survival experiment to have honey uh as quickly as i can on that because i will I will make money, but it's it costs about thirty, forty thousand to get going uh, with the honey. So uh, yeah, but once you get going, it's it's worth it. I am wondering if you can hire that equipment. Also, I'm hoping on the uh, on the survival experiment. I have a tractor lined up in case we don't. But Ian was saying that it looks like he's ready to upload some cool stuff so uh, my hope is that we might be seeing the tractors that i want on the realism experiment i uh, sorry on the survival experiment soon and we'll uh, we'll keep the fords on here right is this full yes it is we need to disconnect that that's closed Come into position, and we're out. So I want to get this going at the same angle as we have previously been doing this at. And I think we already did the. Did we already do the headlands on this? find out in a moment. I oh, know we didn't. Okay, so we haven't done the headlands. We want it to end at that bottom corner. And we want to get to wherever this is going. Uh, my realism rule says 8,000 litres per hectare. So can't get the variable to turn. Um, that might be wrong then, Farmer Stew. One hive and some fruit trees. Easy money. Yeah, that's the thing, Sloth. It is nice money. Right, okay. So, we are on 30 degrees, I think. 
Big Lester Lad, thank you for the four bit cheer. You're awesome. Welcome along. I hope you're doing well. Right, let's uh, let's set this up. So that. Oh, um, I uh, know this should work with this. This should work with this. It's GPS. This doesn't like. So thirty five degrees. Was what I had that at. Okay. Bypass island skip rows. Headlands two. Uh, clockwise up downs first. Turn. Okay. Generate. Cool. That should be about right. Back. Okay. That is approximately right now I don't know where this starts actually ah oh, really nope we've got to generate that again I'm just looking at that that is not that is not that's 20 that's 20 degrees okay so clear course generation not 35 it's 20 degrees uh, counterclockwise generate that's better do we have an offset because that is oh no that is fine big lesser lad thank you for the three bit cheer you're awesome um, I'm good thank you I am good. Hello, danger engaged. Welcome along. That should be about right. And judging by that, yep, that is about right for what we're doing. Good. So we'll bring this round. We will go. Here, nearest waypoint. Drive course. And that is a way. Looks like it's slightly off. But nothing that we can't sort. So. Oh no! It's done it to me again. So in this instance we go to the nearest vehicle and jump out. But that's going to be annoying because that's that's just going to create all sorts of problems. Hello, Matty Wood, thirty-five sixty-five. Welcome, gamer. Welcome along. Right, do we need more water for the cows? Yes, we do. And then we need to feed the chickens. We're all right to turn the lights off now. I think that's going to run out of slurry way too quickly. We're going to be forever refilling that tractor. Hey, Canadian Gamer X, welcome along. And no, it's the weekend I can't find out before you ask. I will update you on Monday. Right, so load them up with water. We should be able to give them some straw today as well. Start generating some other stuff. Bailey Shaw Guitars, thank you for... So no, it's Galcom. Galcom Gamer, thank you very much for gifting 10 subs to the channel. You are awesome, sir. Welcome to the subscribers. Bailey Shaw Guitars, W Keen, Jonathan199985, Big Lester Lad97, Matty Wood3565, Serial Turning, Super Crazy Mark, Sonatoric, Joker or Tickle, and STE Scotland. Welcome to the subscribers. If you've been gifted a sub, please uh, give 
I got the game. Hey, thank you. In the chat. We are going to be refilling the... While we're uh, doing the T7 like this isn't too much trouble because we are uh, we're around here and working around here anyway. Where's our tractor? It's up there. But all we can do is we can take it, we can refill it and then just... Bring it back here. Okay, that is too wide. And, oh, that has mucked up anyway. Oh, boy. Right, okay. So that is too wide and, uh, uh, and yeah, this is... I cannot disengage this or do anything with this. Even getting out of this is impossible. I don't know why this does this. Yeah, there's something there's something to do with this abbey, I think, that just causes issues all the time. Later, Eugene Krill. Yeah, we, uh, we're going to have to do this manually. Ah! Right. Save game. Back. Or maybe I can, maybe I can transfer. No, it'll say it's in use. It's a hired worker issue. I need to, I think I need to update course play because course play does keep doing this to me. Right, let's, uh, let's switch to another vehicle. Because I can do that, but then I can't do anything else. And it just blocks me. Right, the only way I can do this, save, quit and come back in. It's it's a really odd one that cool field meters. We have to we need to do that job manually. Is the only way I can do it now, which is which is annoying. But it's it's not actually it's not just the Abbey. It's something there's something up with my game setup. Only time it does it is in this. I do I know I tell a lie. There is another time it does it. Um, and uh, I've had it happen once in one other save game. So, yeah. But yeah, I have to come all the way out, go all the way back in. Because it's annoying. It is annoying like this. Had that issue as well using the manure mod and one of 4D mod is high spec. Oh, could it be an issue between the manure mod and 4D modding tank stuff? No, because they're supposed to be built for the manure mod. That's the weird thing. I don't know. I don't know what's causing it. Going out and coming back in uh, seems to sort it. And it was, it was doing a silly width anyway. You got a joke, Canadian gamer. Well, what is that? I think what is <laughs> What's a joke? I have no idea what a joke is. <laughs> oh, man. When can peanuts laugh? I don't know. When can peanuts laugh? Possible it works uh, to load, but sometimes gets stuck. Yeah, I don't. It's 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 definitely a course play issue in general. 
Uh, right, we can transport up there. Because we're loading in. See, and now... I'm fine. We'll try again. Sometimes course play has problems and sometimes it doesn't. When you, oh dear lord. When you crack them up. Oof. Oof, I say. I think that's connected, does it? No. What? No! I am not trying to do that. Catch hose. Bring hose. Spent most of the time mucking about with this last time. Because for some reason does not like to connect into here. No, I double click that. Come on, hold. I mean, seriously. Go. And this one here, come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that was weird. Filling up. They hash it. Uh, oh my god! Not my fault. You want to do this? You feel by now. That's true. Right. Let's. Uh, let's finish off the water here. Let that unload. Almost full. That is full. What map am I on? I am on Bessie Beneath. Which is an awesome, awesome map. And we are, we are, I will warn you now, this is going to be at least a three hour stream tonight. I am so, we so much to do on here. We need to 
plant crops in here. We need to plant crops in another field as well. Oh, wow. Some big gaps. Hey, Jesse's. Um, I'm not sure, JC. I have to check. Forty three per cent just on that. Gior seventeen oh nine. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to BFN. Ah, oh, this overlap is not good for us. <coughs> Not good at all. Don't know if I'm going to have enough to make it to the end of this row. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm not. One, two, three, JCB. Thank you for the subscription with Twitch Prime. You are awesome. You've been subscribed for six months. Uh, it was about the telehandler hook thing for trailers. And the helper, if you had a shop for when the uh, okay, yeah, I'm still uh, I'm still working out what we're going to do with DLC and uh, and how that whole setup is going to be. I actually think I need a bigger slurry tanker for any field I do on here. I think I'll slowly tank up maybe a bit small. out the way because we still need to deal with the chickens uh, the shovel was used for something else <laughs> I was not digging around though Yeah, hopefully I should have another update on Twitter on the studio tomorrow. But we are getting very, very close. Whether I do the full reveal next weekend, uh, we shall see. Uh, the skip is gone, yes. Although I may need another one soon. We've got a few items left that need uh, need covering. Hey, 
angry now, Adam. I love that. Twitter held a uh, Twitch held that um, because it, it said um, <laughs> it said angry response, <laughs> which uh, is hilarious. Because the reason why it said it was an angry response is because it had a dinosaur in it. That is absolutely hilarious. And let's get some feed for our cows. Fresh maize stored up here. Next weekend, to FPS increase. I'm looking forward to that. How are cows after that? Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah. So, uh, next reload. Oh, that just. You can tell it's got so it's got must have something to do with the cows because the FPS down here just takes a nosedive. Either that, or it's the manure mod. That's the other one that could be causing the issue. Those are both ones we have on the live stream ones and both ones that I don't have. Just like that. Uh, and ones that I don't have on there. Hello, Christians4. Welcome along. I have no idea whose emotes those are. <laughs> they are funny. Follow. Welcome to the BFN. Papa Petros. Okay. okay. Should get at least another full row in after this. Yeah, this field needs to be planted with wheat today. We might actually have a chance of this stuff germinating. Although it is getting fairly cold. But 5 degrees C, that is, uh, that is warm enough for this to germinate. And if, we, uh, and if we can get the sunflowers harvested, we can then get the uh, canola in. Oh no, that's, not, that's the wrong way around. Maybe it's the corn. No, the corn is where the canola's got to go. So we've got we've got two fields that we need to plant today. Yeah. But I'm expecting the. Uh, us to be able to get the combine running in a minute. My favourite thing to do, and I'm not going to be able to do it, I'm going to have to set course play on it. 
Although crossplay is being really, really naughty. So we may not be able to crossplay it either. That keeps weirding out there. Eleven o'clock. We do have we have two fields to cut today. We really do. Yeah, this Abbey tanker does not like course playing. It does not like GPS. I think we may move it on. Of course. Because I did not check where it was attached. Whether it was attaching. There we go. It weirded out. And went and reattached itself. Come on. Ugh. We need to reverse this up further. Thank you, uh, Butter Gaming, for the host. You are awesome. Welcome. Uh, yeah, you are awesome. I say welcome to the BFN. You're already here. It held. I've not opened this one. There we go. Right, let's go sort our chickens out. Yeah, looks like it's going to be midday before the uh, destroyer's ready anyway. Hey, Butter Gaming, welcome along. And Millen Games LL, NL, welcome along. And Jason 03 TTV, welcome along as well. I'm doing well, thank you. Yeah, Ooh, let's close this super drive past. This is how to multitask in farming simulator. We haven't harvested the sugar beet. Hope I'm. Um, what's the weather forecast? Okay, we may have a chance to harvest the sugar beet next time. I hope, because we're not going to harvest it today. Yes. How did I not notice that yesterday that, that we did barley last time? I thought we did wheat. Or maybe maybe I did notice that we did barley and not. But anyway, we're we're bailing the barley. Oh, we've got. on the ground here. Let's clear that up. I'm guessing that's the chickens being dirty. Uh, we shall see. We'll see how long this uh, this the dew stays because that's going to be the killer. And we've got to go and get ourselves a, uh, a sunflower header as well to get the sunflowers cut. The sunflowers are less of a worry to me than the wheat. 
uh, the wheat is going to be much, much more useful to us. Right, now that should be the animals done, I think. In which case, we can leave this here under the shed. Like so. Let's check. Uh, animals. Chickens are happy. Yeah, good. We do need to get some silage sorted. And we'll head this down so this is then in the right position as well. But yeah, I think we're going to have to switch the Abbey out because the Abbey just isn't wide enough. I think both of our, I think both of our Abbeys just aren't wide enough for what we're trying to do. Um, our fields are bigger on this map and we are, we are going to need something with a wider spread than we have at the moment. And a bigger tank. Um, so, uh, yeah. That and away we go. Now I want to switch this over to planting this field. I can only do that if I've got this uh, done. And we don't have to plant this field with this uh, with this fully done with this, but I would like to. And we've at least got the uh, yeah. We're going to at least have the head uh, the main body of the field done before we get into today's harvest. That's about the same width on it as our combine hat. There we go. I'm expecting to be able to pick bales up fairly quickly. If we get, if we can get that field baled quick, that will be that will be good. I'm not gonna bale the wheat. We're, we're just gonna shred the wheat. Because that will be uh, more bales than we can handle. And I only have to get them onto the flatbed and under cover. done fairly well at this bottom end of this field. 
If we can get this done by midday, that would be excellent. And then I can check my um, uh, my crop rotation and we can see what we're looking to plant where. There we go. Run out again. This is not going to delay us a very long time to get this done. You only have to see how long this is taking the dew to dry out to know why I don't want to send the har I don't want to risk any harvest on the final day that isn't a, a, a crop that we can harvest as a wet crop. Right. No, I don't want to store it. You. Right, while that's doing that, let's go get our combine header. Because I reckon this is about ready to harvest. No, 23%. That is not going to be ready to harvest at midday. Wow, that is not good. That is not good at all. How are we going to handle that? We've had no rain and this just isn't drying out. That is awful. I am in trouble. The realism experiment once again is kicking me while I'm down. Why does the first year always suck the seasons? This is why we are not doing, uh, this, is, this is why we're shredding the wheat, the wheat straw, because we're not going to be able to bail in it, come at the same time. Thank you for the follow, Pro Farmer 19. Welcome to the BFN. How's the painting getting on? I have done the undercoats. I uh, am about to start doing the um, uh, the the main paint. 
Uh, but... Uh, I haven't got the coding up yet. Uh, Resting Splash 60, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. Now, do we have enough here to make it round for these final bits of headland? I think we should be able to get the TW25 out and, uh, and bailing in a bit. And then, yeah, then I think we're going to be going quite late with the harvest. I am, I am amazed that this is not dried enough to harvest yet. Uh, will I get back at it tomorrow? Yep, I want to put the... Uh, so I need to... I've got to do two coats of the uh, the wool colour. I need to put the coving up. Um, I've got... Uh, yeah, I've got various bits and pieces to do. Actually, I might not get the coving up tomorrow. The important thing to do in the study in the studio tomorrow is to get the walls painted. And that is because the electrician is back on uh, Monday to put my um, uh, to put some more stuff in and so I need uh, I need my um, I need the walls painted for uh, for something that they're putting in on uh, on Tuesday so oh, sorry on Monday so I, I absolutely need that done in order to uh, to get that finished let's get that little bit with this. Start heading back along here. So yeah, we're going to have to spread some lime uh, on the corn. Oh yeah, so before I go any further, what is my rotation? Uh, corn is going to sugar beet, so that's fine. We've got plenty of time to spread the lime there. Sugar beet is going to canola. That might be a problem. Uh, wheat is going to sunflowers. Right, there's no good way round to do this. Other than we'll get the sunflowers done today and the canola done uh, and the sugar beet done the next day. So we might switch those two back. Because we switched those round last time. I think it might be wise to put the wheat in after the sunflowers. Although, ah. Uh, uh, Amazon Bio, thank you for the 1,000 bit cheer. You are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, the spray rate I'm using is 300 litres per hectare. Which is, I think, what we eventually settled on. I think the one in the realism experiment rules might be wrong. And needs updating. Hey, GBP Nation. Welcome along. Right, one more load of this. And if we're lucky after this, we will have some dried out crops if we're not lucky we won't definitely i have to at least get the winter wheat in so we're going to put the winter wheat into the canola field come on there we go no 
I don't store that pose. for the attachment. Galcom Gamer, thank you for gifting a three month T1 sub to Amazon PO. That is your 500th gifted sub to the channel. You are awesome, Galcom Gamer. Absolutely amazing. And I cannot get this hose anywhere near where I'm trying to. Come on, don't store, connect. Oh, right, back it off a little bit. Why is my walking speed reduced? There we go. Don't store hose, connect hose. Oh no, I had it. I had it for a moment. Why am I ducking? There we go. Right, let's try this again. There we go. Oof. Man. Right, let's go get the combine. How I'm going to get two fields done and harvested today and a field bailed and the bales collected I do not know any way I look at this this is painful this is two days work we have to slot into a single day We've got to take the combine down to the shop to get the other header as well. I may have to whole crop the, uh, the sunflowers. We did say that might be a possibility. that there. Let's at least get this job finished. Hello LOL 32 one kind. Welcome along. 
can at least turn that off. So, I need to get a screenshot. Because we've been spending most of our time doing this. So... Pretty good screenshot, that one. Let's get this done. Finish off this field. That still hasn't dried out. I am beginning to get a bit worried by this. Because if we if we truly do have snow on the way next game day, A, nothing's gonna dry out in time. But B we we could end up with withered crops. If we if it drops so low, we could end up with withered crops and be unable to hold crop them. So I'm very concerned right now. This though has done its job. Roll that up, get this off the field, and get this planting wheat in here now. Is what we need to do next. Of course, as well, it's autumn, so we, it's not... The sun isn't up quite as long either. Check the moisture. Yeah, I'll check the moisture on the way back. But we're still, we're still too wet to harvest. Twenty-one percent. So we will be harvesting soon, at the very least. Let's switch this round and uh, we'll drop this off near the slurry tank. Is this map coming to Xbox? Uh, I believe it is. Really? Okay. All the hose. Right. So, this we want to get the cedar on and get this seeding wheat. Uh, I'm going to start baling as soon as we've got this going, hopefully on course play, seeding wheat. There we go. I think we sorted this last time. I hope we sorted this last time. in it.
You is worth leaving this over here. What's a very good American map? Uh, two very good Ooh. American maps. Lone Oak and uh, Lancy Boys one, which I can't remember at the moment off the top of my head. Two very good American maps. Shiraz456. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFM. Why can I not remember the name of Lance Boy's map? Uh, the D100 I don't think is on there. Stone Valley. Thank you, Galcop. Yeah, Stone Valley and Lono. Uh, two absolutely brilliant American maps. I recommend checking out both of those. Stone Valley, yeah. Um, I prefer the four times version to the two times version of Stone Valley. I think we should have a pallet of wheat here. Hopefully it will be enough. What have we got? Sunflower wheat. There we go. Oh, I caught this sunflower palette. So that's not good. Hey, Massey Ferguson, man. Welcome along. We may have to go and get some more seed from the shop. We're only a third full. None of these are wheat. Uh, barley, canola, maize. That's actually good, I think. Really struggling with American maps, big square fields boards. Um, I like them because it makes it makes a change. This is a quiet tractor. Yeah, it's a little bit, but I, I kind of like that about it. We are going to have to get some more seed for this. Fertilizing and seeding, course generation for two headland passes. Longest edge. Up downs first. Generate. There we go. Now does this have an offset of it? Oh, oh no. I don't think if that's causing us. No, no offsets, that's good. Really? Because it's got no fertilizer in it. Should have put fertilizer in it.
I'm expecting at two o'clock to be able to start harvesting. And we need to start harvesting. I may abandon doing the wheat for today. question is, do I have any solid fertilizer? Not really. Okay. Yeah, we can only seed this today and tomorrow, so... So I'm going to abandon that for now. We need to get the TW25 down. We should have been bailing instead of mucking about. Turning circle on this tractor is atrocious. I'm fully expecting the moisture level to disappear at this point. Bailers, 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 bailers. There she blows. 18,000 for the D800. What's the difference between the D800? And the D1000. Nothing other than a bit of money. I think we're going to go with white wheels on it. Oh, no, no, that's not the one I want to change. Is there a difference between those two yellows? Class you at no. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go for. So eighteen thousand we need to borrow a little bit of money. Let's see what we need to uh, so borrow ten thousand, we're up to hundred and forty five thousand. Baylor Purchase All Extinguishers <laughs> Acid Applicator no, I think we're just going to go for a standard D1000. White. Uh, with the white rims. 
Uh, UK Reg. Have we had no music all night? We've had no music all night. How have I missed that? Island. Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. There we go. UK number plate. That will do nicely. Michelin. Uh, for um, you can get it from 4D's uh, Facebook page. Which ones do I like? I'm gonna go with Cargo XBs. Fill twine manually. We'll fill it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, does it have any twine in it, is the question. It's going to be 3 p.m. before we have any... Uh, we have no twine, so... Pallets. That, I think, is what we want. Twenty four should do us. around the other side. But hopefully that is enough bail. CD Gaming Zone, welcome along. I'm doing well, thank you. I hope we've got enough horsepower on this, actually. That is the thing I didn't check. That will annoy me if I've got that wrong. Uh, 95, no, we're good, we're good. That will pull behind this. I'm going to disable it on here as well. It, uh, for some reason, if you're not using IBT, that just does not work. Can't believe it's half two in the afternoon and, and we've not had dry enough crop to harvest yet. I think it's dropping like 1% an hour. But at least that gives us a chance to get this uh, this barley baled. But it means that when it does get dry enough. Uh, that was the vehicle control add-on. Fill this up.
So I'm not expecting to use all of this Baylor twine. I'll be annoyed if we do. Um, it, it is. Well, um, the trouble it has. Well, I don't actually use the gearbox thing of it. It has an automatic gearbox setup um, that, that sort of sets up various uh, virtual gearboxes that run. Trouble is, I've been running it with older tractors with 4x4 and 4x4 power shift. And uh, in both cases, it's been causing me problems. So that's why I've turned it off on those two. And where I use IBT, it works fine. Right, let's unfold the bailer. What do you mean, Phil Molasses? I don't need molasses for straw bales. If I can buy some molasses. I thought I'd taken the molasses thing. Uh, I want to move him. Uh, hopefully next weekend. The carpet goes down on Friday. Um, I'm basically going to have this set up here as long as uh, it takes me to get the other set up done. Um, there's things I want to do that I need to get working first. So, uh, yeah. I've got to build some shelving and uh, do some other bits and pieces. But uh, once I get it all set up, uh, I will then move my streams into there. And, uh, and yeah, you guys... We'll get to see the new studio. And I'm going to do a studio tour as well. Uh, which will be pretty cool. What I need to do is buy some cupboard doors. I want some wooden cupboard doors. Right. So, we're going to purchase four more things of Baylor twine. Yeah, four. Yes. And then I need. So, how much molasses does this need? 2800. Right. Really? So that's uh, I'm out of money anyway. That is somewhat ridiculous. Do I watch? Uh, I haven't been partly because I'm also doing uh, role plays and I'm also doing survival stuff. So I don't want to, I don't want to copy dagger and stuff or even, you know, subconsciously. How do I fill this?
but that would then make this pointless. I don't want to, I don't need to use molasses. I mean, that, that would be pretty silly. We're going to have to borrow more money to get this on. Yeah, you see here, it's so starting to do with twine and molasses. Why? I selected twine only. Why is it asking me to fill molasses? Now it's saying 3,500. What? Okay. Let's try filling it with some molasses then. There we go. Yeah, the baler is bugged. And only takes... And only takes 200 litres of it. What the heck? Fill the water on the way. I have no idea what this bailer is doing. At the Gonna need. Lo I have a loader. And we're fine for that. I just. Oh, also, stuff's dried out. We need to move our butts. But if this bailer has caused me to uh, to miss out on all this today, I'm gonna be peeved. I just wanted a simple baler. And it's telling me I have to fill with water and the last one. Ah. Oh.
This is very bugs, this trailer. Okay. Okay, first I need to unfold the bail. That's fine. Let's see if this works and then we can get the combine going. Let's get the combine going. Hello, Uncle Henry86. Welcome along. You've never really completed the full season. Oh, I've done several. Uh, Zanto867, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. Right, don't bug out on me, course play. I need you to work. Headland, uh, two headland passes, clockwise. Headland first. Smooth, overlap, generate. Right, good. Okay, course play is not bugging out on that. That is good news. So keep an eye on that combine while we go and bail. Hello, Xantu867. Welcome along. You follow me on YouTube? Awesome. I hope you enjoy my live streams as well. We're pumping out bales rather nicely now. using all of these things for the straw bales so lord knows why we need water and molasses and all of this for straw bales Need to get some screenshots. That should do it.
Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. They are small bales, aren't they? Objects are still too heavy, but they're smaller bales than normal. What's the best like play seasons on? I like between uh, six days if I'm playing at five times and nine days if I'm playing at um, uh, uh, and if I'm playing at uh, ten times. There we go. Yeah, these are smaller bales. I think we're going to have to abandon this baler after this season. Annoyingly, lovely baler, but uh, ah, 24 days on 10 times. I can see that. Three days, yeah, three days season, seasons for first year makes sense. Right, we'll get to the end of this headland and uh, and then we will get the combine, we'll sort the combine out because it's going to be full. Combine will be ready to empty. When we well, combine is ready to empty now. So, God, we have more bales to pick up on here, and we can't use an auto loader because they're small bales. I hope my bale grab picks these up. Hoping the combine made it around the field twice.
Oh yeah, we've passed 90 hours with this tractor. Wow. Fifty-one percent. Perfect. So quickly, you have an MP server. You're 150 hours on. Wow. Field date would be a good one to buy. Yeah, that's probably on our target list for the next year. At the moment, I'm just trying to survive the first year on here. One more headland to move. I want to get these picked up before the sunset. Because the trouble is, if the sun sets, we are going to be searching for fails forever. can't leave these on the field because these are not big bales and they will diminish in the rain that's coming. So yeah. Two thousand eight hundred litre bales. That's not great. You do own two. Wow. Three-day seasons, one time. The trouble I find with three-day seasons on one times is that sometimes you just get a really, really wet day and then you just can't get the work done that you need to do. Whereas having more days at a faster time, you end up actually having days you can do stuff that can bypass stuff. Although I do love a good real time server. Why is that beeping out? Ah, because it's getting near to the end of the day. How's our combine doing? Our combine is only 36% full. That's good news for us-ish. We're going to get the flatbed on the uh, TW25 after this. Yeah. Well, you've seen even with six day seasons here, we are in uh, serious danger of losing stuff. Really?
Well, I know why the combine isn't moving. It's hit our tractor and trailer. Either that or the train, it being course play. It's course play. It's hit the. You, I should have done three rounds of the. Hello, Troy's boot. Welcome along. Right, where are you going for? going to move this tractor. Well, this is the thing. We should get this barley in. The sunflowers. We're going to be buying the sunflower header late. At best. And we've still got to get all of these in. Hello, Andre Wolf 3 Welcome along. We'll get these bailed. I don't know how quickly we'll get them collected. We're going to have enough uh, twine and everything, so we'll be fine from that point of view. Uh, yes, so the only time we suspend the no work after dark is if we have an urgent job that needs doing, um, because we won't be able to do it the next day. So, in this instance, that means the harvest, uh, because we know the next day is wet, uh, no farmer in real life would uh, would leave it to um, you know would just finish at dark because it's wet. So uh, we'll go. Uh, we will go late on here. Same with getting these bales in. That will be something that, that would get done. So uh, yeah. And these are small bales anyway. I don't know actually if these bales will diminish with season. I don't know if they're actually affected by seasons. Which might be a positive in the end. Hey Miller Gaming, welcome along. Thank you for the host, you are awesome. Roger is New Zealand sometimes go to the early hours of the morning when harvesting, but only when harvesting. Yeah, and it, it kind of depends on the moisture content. So, yeah, you can sometimes, all over the world, people harvest food night as long as the moisture content is low enough. Um, 
with us in uh, when when I was working my dad's farm, about nine ten at night we would find the moisture content would get too high, uh, and so you'd have to stop anyway. Weatherman Zelle is raiding with a party of four. Welcome, 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 raiders. Hope things are all going well and you had a good stream, Weatherman. And now I've I've got two minds of with my uh, with my emotes. Do I? Uh, do I retire the not a shed emote when we uh, when we get into the new studio? Because it's going to be very obviously not a shed. Despite some tech issues, oh tech issues are always a pain in the butt. Nasui, thank you for following. Welcome to the VFN. I'm taking alternate rows here because this the, the turning circle on this tractor is not great. Okay, oh, me have to make that can make that though. There we go. Yeah, I don't know, do we still need the not a shed or shall I uh Shall I look for something else? I was thinking about a realism emote, maybe. Uh, the shed door is... Oops. The shed door is still there, but it just won't be visible on the new, uh, on the new streams. Because the my whole my whole studio has turned 90 degrees and uh, and I'm taking a whole new angle on everything. Yeah. Whole change to this uh, my streaming layout and everything as well, which should be wicked. Combine has stopped, but not told me it's stopped. It's waiting. I think it's waiting to be unloaded. Either that or it's got stuck in the hedge. Either way, it's not moving. Nope. And uh, now. Now it's saying it needs to be unloaded. It is zipping through this field, which is good news. Very good news. And we are going to have to go and tip this this time.
So we'll get a decent amount of, uh, of barley off here. Oh, sorry, of wheat off here. It is this this trailer suits this uh, this setup really well. Uh, it's just bigger than the amount the uh, combine has, so it means we can travel alongside the combine without too much effort. Ninety four percent we're going to tip this. So a few more bales to get bailed and then we can get the teller handler to the field and uh, and get uh, get that collected up, which will be good. Fourteen days today. Cannot wait to see what happens here. Of course, yeah, we're only two weeks away from that. Which, of course, I will be doing that from the new studio. So I'm very happy. Uh, oh, I've got my giant mouse map for the new studio. I've got. I'm going to have a my desk. I'm fully repainting. So uh, I'm going to have a nice shiny black desk uh, in the new thing. And it's, it's, I'm so excited. And I'm looking forward to having my seal ring wheel back. Absolutely. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on. There we go. We'll leave that tipping. Wee. Can I turn my music down or my mic volume up? I can't turn my mic volume up unless Windows did an update. And I don't know whether that's a thing. I don't want to fiddle with it too much. Um, because it's... Yeah, I need to do that off stream if that's an issue. There we go. Mike sounds fine. Okay. There we go. So we've only got four rows left here, so that should be fine. I'm worried. What I'm worried about is we're going to have to use the uh, the lifter arm fairly extensively to get these collected up. I'm not really looking forward to that. Yeah, without a joystick, it's been pretty horrible. And I don't have a joystick to hand to you. Either. I'm just lowering your brows. Yeah, I, it's the, it is a whole setup thing here. Oh yeah, go for it, GVP. I am intrigued. Oh no, don't want to catch that. Go away, Bale. Bales are so light, we've got one and taking it us. There we go. Yeah, I'm hoping my bale grab works with these, because if it doesn't, I've got a problem.
can see now the sun is beginning to set and we haven't even started the sunflowers. My, as I said, that's not a problem. If, if, if all I've got to do with the sunflowers is get them harvested, that's not an issue. I can go and I can do that. It's if, uh, it's if we've got to pick these bales up in the dark. So that absolutely is my uh, priority, is to get these things. Night, Angry Dad Adam. Thanks for joining us. There we go. Yeah, it's, I'm glad I'm not doing silage with this baler because I wouldn't be able to wrap these bales. Right, and... Oh, we can get another bale out of here. Maybe 80%. We're going to mount that bale if we're not careful. Oh, 92%. Okay. I think we can get one more bale out of this. Ninety six. Ninety-seven. A little bit of here. Let's see, unload, unload. Go put this away. We've got ourselves a trailer. 75% full on the uh, combine, so that's good news. We can uh, head over and go and empty that. Yeah, busy, busy day. We're going to need to, we'll have to leave the header in the field and use our header trailer to go and get our sunflower header, I think. That's the second day we haven't done anything about bees. We do really need to do something about the bees next time. No, no. Now you can go. There we go. Well, that's what I mean by this uh, the turning circle on this is awful. Any other tractor would have made it round that.
take those off because we just want the standard flat bed. Let's go empty our combine. Oh, wrong tractor. This one. Very cool. Let's get a raffle. I'm going to have to take it on the combine to do it. Should unload there. Oh wow. This is gonna be very, very difficult to see. I don't remember filling my me filling the coat. That's bad. That's so bad, chat! I don't remember refilling my coat. That's ten percent. Right, we need to find these bales before dark. It's already harder to see them. jump through here. That's what I'm looking for. God, that is painful. At least we should keep them flat most of the time. But mouse mouse control on this is yeah pretty horrible. Let's go. have to do is 
collect up these bales and get them under cover. It is coming. You that was going to do that. Because I took that corner too sharply. Sheesh, it's... Really? It's 10 to 11 here. Where has this evening gone? Yeah, so, wow. I drove me tracker to your race that comes nice to our I threw me pitchfork at your dog to keep flying. <laughs> now something's telling me that you've been avoiding me. Who are you? Come on now, darling. You've got something I need. Because I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I got 20 acres and you got 43. Now I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. She made me laugh. <laughs> I'll stick by you, I'll give you all that you need to our ooh. We'll have twins and triplets, I'm a man built for speed. And you are. know I'll love you, darling. So Give me your hand, who are but you? What I want the most is all those acres of land. Cause I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I got 20 acres and you got 43. Now I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Wow, oh, she's a lovely bit of stuff and all. For seven long years, there's been a load in this place. Who are you? It's leaked in the kitchen. It's a proper disgrace. Who are you? Now, if I clean you up, would you change your mind? Who are you? I'll give up drinking scrumpy and that lager and lime. Because I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I got 20 acres and you got 43. Now I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Who loves you, baby? Uh, weren't we a grand couple at that last person's dance? I wore my brand new gaiters and my corduroy pants. In your new Sunday dress with your perfume smelling brand. We had our photos took and I sold in hand. Oh, come on. Because I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Now that we're both past the fifties, I think that you and me should stop this gallivanting and will you marry me? Because I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Thanks for playing the saddler. Who are you again? Thank you, Galcom Gamer, for playing the Combine Harvester Sound Alert. Oh, man. <laughs> I need to put the music back on. This claw isn't picking these up perfectly. I think it's partly because I'm a little bit tired, but partly because these are slightly smaller bales. I think we're not going to be able to keep the New Holland Harvester, unfortunately. Uh, New Holland Baler, unfortunately. There's too many uh, incompatibly, incompatibility issues. Plus, yeah, and, and you can tell because this, I can't get this low enough to pick the bales up properly. Which is not a good start. 
let's get some music back. There we go. Hopefully that's a better level. So yeah. Four bales so far. Seven in the evening. We are not going to get the uh, sunflowers done tonight. I just don't see how we can do it at the moment. Oh, you're kidding me. These bales are not recognized. By oh, no. Take time. I can't take the time down to one Nimrod. It's against the rules of the realism experiment. Looks like, despite the fact that they're not um, registering the stuff to go over, they are getting clamped down, so that is good news. This is when you need these sea bales on the map um, mod. So, what is the forecast for the next game day? Okay, we have a chart. It, it kind of depends on how much dew hits tonight. If we have a lot of dew, uh, then uh, we're not going to be able to harvest it. If we have minimal dew, we should be alright. I'm going to unload these and then we're going to get the combine sorted.
How many bales do we have to pick up off this field? In the dark now. 62? We've done six. We've done 10%. Actually, that's not too bad. Combine is finished. Ish. <sighs> As I said, all we need to do is get these on the trailer. My trouble is, 62 bales we're never going to fit on in one go, are we? Combine's finished. So... Another 8,000 litres, so that's not too bad. About 24,000 litres of wheat that we've got off here. Next challenge is going to be the sugar beet. I think we're going to have to hold crop the sunflowers. I really, really, really don't think we're going to get the sunflowers up. Unless we're extremely lucky and it's a very dry night. Which, considering the temperature, may not be true. We are not going to get some flowers. You never know though. It might decide to be nice to me for once. We shall see. So four times uh, four eights are Can't be right because that would be half. That would mean uh, eight 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 to eight, sixty four. Well, the trouble the trouble is, uh, Galcom. I'm not sure that these bales would go into it. These bales we've used the wrong for doing that kind of stuff. Uh, we've 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 got the wrong bales, and that's kind of where I've scuppered myself. Is that baler while nice is a problem. But what we can do again 
we're looking at being in a position where we've got lots of bales uh, where we, we've got time to get these bales up so even if I can't get all of these up this time uh, we should be able to get them picked up next time and I might get the joystick installed to make this job easier because at the moment this is just going to be horrible to do all right this is horrible to do like this So jaggedy and so difficult. And the back one fell off. Because of course it did. See if we can get this carefully on here in such a way there we go. Clips up. And I've got a better idea for stacking these that might make these that little bit more stable. And easier to stack in the first place. Do it this way. The other problem I've got is I can't actually see what direction my wheels are facing at any given time at the moment. So it's making it really difficult to get things lined up properly. I think we might try and go three stacks high. Yeah, you 
see two bales there. Take up less space. I think we could take, I think we could put possibly three bales on that of this size. Because these are not big bales. But I'm now trying to, I'm now having to search through here. Or search around here for bales. Without, you know, sort of them coming out of the murk and the gloom. Uh, if we're looking at having a dry start next time. Or at least a start where we've, we've not got a lot of rain straight from the off. We might be better off getting these back. I'm trying to do this in the light. Jacqueline Jason, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. I need to please the weather gods. Exactly. I think what we'll do is we'll get two more here. We'll get these back to the yard. We've got... That'll give us at least a few bales to get going. Um, worst case is we'll lose a few litres, but... There's not much I can do about that. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. There's a couple of bales. I feel on the same line, which will make this easier. Line it up. Could have done triples with this, so we'll have another. We might have to get some uh, some bits to hold these down properly next time. Welcome to the VFN. Right, let's see. Let's see if that makes any difference, actually. No, not really. I don't know if any of those are actually strapped down. Now, I'm just going to do it this way. There we go. How many have I got? I got 15 bales on here of the 62 that we made today. Um, I think we will have a better time next time if okay, 35. Uh, if we get this, uh, if we do this in the daylight, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't be uh, all 
Uh, it won't be a, uh, a wet night or a, a high dew night and, uh, and we'll be able to get the sunflowers harvested before midday next time. We shall see. I just want to get these undercover. So at least have some bales from this. And I still want to get the... Uh, uh, the wheat in. Still want to plant wheat if we can. Uh, but again, I need to check the temperature. Because if the temperature is too low for it to germinate, there is no point. And we definitely need to sort the bees out next time as well. It's again going to be a busy, busy one. Right, there we go. Get these undercover. Here's a good start. Leave that there. Oh, I want to turn the lights up on it. Right, lights off on the... T dub as well. There we go. It's all done. I think I hear. Yeah, there it is. Under there as well. So, and then the last thing I need to go and just turn the lights off on. <sighs> Is our harvester? Because it's it's got to its lights on, and it's ten to nine in the evening in game. Close that. Lights off. Ooh, there we go. So animals are going to do okay. Uh, we've got the wheat harvested. We've not got the sunflower harvested. Um, and uh, the plan next time is get the rest of those bales up before the rain comes. Get the... Um, uh, maybe try and get the, the wheat seeding. Uh, so we need to pop to the shop and get some bits. Uh, we, yeah, there's just lots of bits and pieces that we're doing. But that is just... Close that up. And uh, there we go. So that is where I'm going to leave it. So we will be back here tomorrow night. We're going to be back on Bessie Beneath tomorrow night. Um, so that'll be good. Uh, we are going to, yeah, we're going to try and wrap up autumn and make everything work and hopefully clear through this. And if we're lucky, we'll get the sunflowers done. If not, uh, then we will have to whole crop them uh, before the end of the day. Uh, I, th I think it's going to get a bit cold for the sunflowers, to be honest. Um, a couple of thank yous to say before we go. Uh, and, uh, and read somebody else. Um, uh, Witherman ZA, thank you for your raid, you are awesome. Galcom Gamer, thank you for your gifted subs tonight, you've been absolutely amazing. 500 gifted subs is just incredible. Uh, Amazon Pio, thank you for your cheer. You have a uh, massive 75. Thank you for resubscribing and welcome along. You've come in at the end here. Uh, I am doing well. Thank you, massive. I am doing well. Um, also, uh, thank you to Big Lesser Lad for your cheers tonight. Uh, you have also been awesome. Who is streaming that we can go and raid? Uh, 
How's that? that follow? Is that a German stream? That might be a German stream. I'm just going to mute the game audio because I don't want this to come through. No, this is not. Okay. Take it you guys can't hear that music. I'm hoping not. Yeah, I don't think you can. That's good. Let me mute that. And I think we might send you guys across to uh, Dajnet tonight. And uh, and see what uh, and you guys can go and check out what's going on over there. Yeah, he's uh, he created uh, PB County, so uh, we'll send you over there. Lots of people watching that, so you can go and join them. Um, but I will be back tomorrow night from eight thirty p.m. Uh, I will also be doing uh, video over on YouTube two p.m. tomorrow. Don't miss that. Um, and, uh, and yeah, which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this live stream. Uh, if you have yet to follow here on Twitch, please do and make sure you have notifications turned on so you never miss a live stream from me. And if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, uh, please uh, give us a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Pharma, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.